children in today's class we are going to learn about infinite limits when i say the word infinity a non zero number by zero gives us infinity suppose i say 4 by 0 my answer is plus infinity a very large number that is not defined properly if i say minus 4 by 0 it is minus infinity a very small number again it is not defined so when i say infinity it doesn't mean only plus infinity it can also be minus infinity value of f of x tending to either plus infinity or minus infinity as x tends to x not or x not minus the left limit or x not plus the right limit in all these cases x is equal to x not we call a vertical asymptote for the graph y is equal to f of x so we have x we have y axis and this is origin you call x not at x not we have a vertical asymptote for the graph y is equal to f of x so this is one such example so this line we call vertical asymptote at x not as we are doing problems we are going to find out the left limit as well as right limit there are certain curves which go on and on like this so it goes up to plus infinity there are certain curves which go down and down like this which goes up to minus infinity a same curve in certain part it will go up to plus infinity in certain part it will go up to minus infinity such cases i will say the left limit is minus infinity the right limit is plus infinity and the limit does not exist in certain cases right limit may be minus infinity whereas left limit will be plus infinity so again we will declare the limit does not exist so let us see some problems with left limit and right limit not equal in such cases we say limit doesn't exist but let us do some problems to understand how to evaluate this left and right limit suppose my question is x tending to 3 if i want left limit wherever x comes put 3 minus h if i want right limit put 3 plus h 3 is the number where i want the limit so x can approach 3 from the right or from the left if it approaches from the right i will put 3 plus h if it approaches from the left i will put 3 minus h and in each case take the limit tending to 0 let us proceed into some problems exercise 9.3 question number 1 find the left and right limits of f of x equals x square minus 4 by x square plus 4x plus 4 into x plus 3 at x is equal to minus 2 as i look at f of x let me try to simplify x square minus 4 square is nothing but x square minus 2 square which can be written as a plus b into a minus b so x square minus 4 can be written as x square minus 2 square that is a plus b into a minus b format so x plus 2 into x minus 2 denominator x square plus 4x plus 4 is nothing but x plus 2 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 i can cancel one x plus 2 so we arrive at x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 into x plus 3 my question is to find the left and right limit what do you mean by finding left limit wherever x is coming my question is left limit at x is equal to minus 2 whenever i want left limit put x is minus 2 minus h and limit h tending to 0 substitute here 
limit h tending to 0. Wherever x comes, let me put minus 2 minus h. So, x becomes minus 2 minus h minus 2. Denominator, wherever x comes, minus 2 minus h plus 2. Here, minus 2 minus h plus 3. As we simplify, we get limit h tends to 0, minus 4 minus h. Denominator, 2 and 2 cancels, minus h. 3 minus 2, 1 minus h. That is, limit h tending to 0. Minus is common into 4 plus h. Denominator, minus h into 1 minus h. Cancelling the negative symbol. Now, wherever h comes, let us put 0. So, the numerator becomes 4 plus 0. The denominator 0 into 1 minus 0. That is 4 by 0 which is nothing but infinity. So we get f of minus 2 minus the left limit. Answer is plus infinity. Now we shall proceed on to right limit. For right limit put x is equal to I want add 2. So, we will say minus 2 plus h. Left limit tells me put minus 2 minus h. Right limit tells me put minus 2 plus h. Take limit h tends to 0. As I substitute. Limit h tends to 0. Wherever x comes minus 2 plus h minus 2. Denominator minus 2 plus h plus 2. Minus 2 plus h plus 3. That is limit h tends to 0. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 plus h. Denominator 2 2 cancels h. 3 minus 2 1 plus h. As we simplify it is minus 4 plus Wherever h comes, I am putting 0. Denominator 0 into 1 plus 0. So, we get minus 4 by 0. That is minus infinity. So, we get the right limit minus 2 plus. I can say that is minus infinity. Whereas, the left limit is plus infinity. At x is equal to minus 2. Left limit is plus infinity and right limit is minus infinity. Question number 1. B part. Find left and right limits for f of x equals tan x at x is equal to pi by 2. To find left limit, let us put pi by 2 minus h. To find right limit, let us put pi by 2 plus h. In both the cases, remember limit h tends to 0. As I substitute, I want left limit f of pi by 2 minus. I have to write limit h tends to 0. The question is tan x. Tan wherever x is coming. Pi by 2 minus h. Let us recall the trigonometric formula. Whenever pi by 2 comes, change. Change what? Tan will become cot. So, tan pi by 2 minus h, I can write cot h. And pi by 2 minus falls in first quadrant where all ratios are positive. As I put h tends to 0, I get cot 0 that is plus infinity. So, we have arrived the left limit as plus infinity. Let us proceed into the right limit in the same procedure. I want f of pi by 2 plus. That is the right limit. Limit h tends to 0. Tan pi by 2 plus h. Tan x is my question. I write in the place of x pi by 2 plus h. Again. 
pi by 2 comes tan will become cot. But now pi by 2 plus that comes in second quadrant where tan is negative. So I have limit h tends to 0 minus cot h. Wherever h comes we are going to put 0. So it is minus cot 0. And we remember cot 0 is infinity but there is minus symbol. So we get right limit is minus infinity whereas the left limit is plus infinity. Question number 2. Limit x tends to 3. x square minus 9 by x square into x square minus 6x plus 9. Let us simplify because if I directly substitute 9 minus 9, numerator 0. Denominator 9 plus 9, 18 minus 18 again 0 by 0. So when I directly do it is 0 by 0 that is indeterminate. So I need to simplify. Let us factorize the numerator as well as denominator. This is x square minus 3 square pattern. I can write x plus 3 into x minus 3. Denominator x square into. This is 9 here minus 6x. X. x minus 3 into x minus 3. Check it. Minus 3x minus 3x minus 6x minus 3 into minus 3 plus 9. As I cancel, I get limit x tends to 3, x plus 3, denominator x square into x minus 3. Let us find out the left and right limit as x tends to 3. So left limit. What should I do? Wherever x comes, I need to put 3 minus h and then take limit h tends to 0. So we want f of 3 minus, that is the left limit idea. Limit h tends to 0. Wherever x comes, I need to put 3 minus h plus 3. Denominator. 3 minus h the whole square wherever x comes. 3 minus h minus 3. As I simplify, limit h tends to 0. It is 6 minus h. Denominator, 3 minus h the whole square. 3, 3 cancels. I get minus h. Let me substitute h tending to 0. The numerator 6 minus 0. The denominator 3 minus 0 the whole square into minus 0. This is 3 square that is positive. 6 is positive. But here what symbol I get? Minus. This tells me 6 by 0 is infinity. But there is minus symbol. So it is minus infinity. So I have arrived the left limit as minus infinity. Let us proceed to find out the right limit. The same pattern. Wherever x comes, I need to put 3 plus h. Take limit h tends to 0. So we write f of 3 plus. That is the right limit at 3. Which is limit h tends to 0. In the place of x, put 3 plus h. 3 plus h plus 3. Denominator. 3 plus h the whole square into 3 plus h minus 3. As we simplify, it is limit h tends to 0. 3 plus 3, 6 plus h. Denominator, 3 plus h the whole square. 3 and 3 cancels, I get plus h. As I substitute h as 0, 6 plus 0. Denominator. 3 plus 0 the whole square into 0. Or we get 6 divided by 3 square is 9 into 0 and my answer is plus infinity. So we have arrived at the right limit as plus infinity and the left limit as minus infinity.